Hey guys, welcome to Biscuits Told to War. This is Biscuits giving you a little guide showing you how to install and play Europa Barbera mod for Wrong Told to War. With this guide, I'm going to show you how to specifically download the actual mod for the Steam version of Wrong Told to War. And I'm also, most importantly, going to show you how you can play this game online. Now, there's different ways of doing this with the Steam version and a non-Steam version. This guide, this tutorial is specifically for Steam. So if you've got Rome Tour to War on Steam and you want to play this mod, this video should hopefully be perfect for you. And if you're worried about thinking about, oh, will this mod affect my normal standard Rome Tour to War? Well, it shouldn't do, because what you can do with this mod is that you can opt to play Europa Barbarum or you can opt to play Rome Tour to War. You don't have to uninstall and reinstall them. It's a case of choosing which one you want to play. So that's what makes this mod absolutely amazing and absolutely great because I love to keep my vanilla Rome Tour to War going. I hate to have to install it and uninstall it. So this guide will just show you how to do it. I've um, watched this guide myself to make sure that it works and hopefully it should work for you first time. I appreciate this guide is probably going to take best part of 20 minutes. But that's basically because I want to go into in all of the details showing you exactly what you do, what files you click on to really try and make it as easy as possible. I'm no technical whiz when it comes to the computer, so if I can do this, I'm sure you guys can. Okay, cheers. Okay, so first of all, what you need to do is to make sure you've got the most up-to-date version of Rome Total War, which is the version 1.51 for Steam and again this guide is specifically for the Steam version so I'll show you how to do that. Okay to check that you've got the most up-to-date version of Rome Told to War it's really simple all you do is go to uh, options and then you go to top right hand corner it should say there version 1.51 and that's the most up-to-date version as I say with effect of the 1st of September 2014 Okay, so now that we know we've got the correct version of Rome Told to War for Steam, what we need to do now is download a few programs so we can actually play this mod. What I've done, I've put a link to the, this, this website on the description, and all we need to do is download patch 1.1, 1.2, 1.2 fixes, a replay mod, custom locations, and this last little file here. Once you've downloaded those different programs, we can then actually extract that program from the download into Rome Total War and get the mod actually physically working. So first things first, what we do, we click on the relevant link. So we click on the top one and download it in chronological order. It will take you to the Euro Europa Barbarum uh, website. So what you need to do is go to the 1.1 version, which is here, download that and then do the 1.2 version. So what I usually do to download, I use this site called ModDM. Click on that. And then I go to Downloads Now, which is there. Sometimes you'll get an advert which will pop up. Once you click Downloads Now, it will then save it to your downloads. Once you've got that, I then go back to the site. Click on the link, which will take you to the Europa Bar Realm website. I then go to 1.2 patch. Again, I've clicked on MODDM. Again, usually an advert will pop up and then you can close it down. But then I click on this button here, which says Downloads Now. And that again will download it to your download folder. So once I've got the, the patch 1.1 and the patch 1.2, the third thing we need to download is patch 1.2 fixes. So again, click on the link and it will take you to this site here. All I do then is go to click on downloads there and again it will just save it to your hard drive and then I'll just close it down. Now we don't need to download this next version which is um, for only the disk version as again this video is just showing you how to do it for Steam so we can skip that one and then go to um, EBMP load replay mod again click on that it will take you to this site click on download that green button and then you can save it to your computer and then the next thing we go to is custom locations again click on the link 
then go to download it's only a very small file click on that and save it to your computer and then the last one here click on that again download and save to your computer and then close that down so basically what you should have done is installed 1.1 1.2 1.2 fixes uh, load replay mod custom locations and this extended option here and again that's purely for the steam version so once you've downloaded all of those programs they should hopefully be sitting in your downloads file so you should have one two three four five six downloads there so now that we've downloaded those programs what we need to now do is actually install them into Rome Total War Steam so what you need to do is start off with the EB 1.1 double click on it to open it up um, select English or the relevant language click next I accept next next now what we need to do we actually need to install this into your Rome Total War Steam folder so what you need to do is find where your Steam version is so in my case it's in my E drive programs Steam then go to Steam apps and then go to common and then you'll have your games that you've installed I just click once on Rome Total War Gold so it's highlighted I haven't double clicked in to open it up just clicked in once on that folder and then go to OK so it's going to basically install this within programs in Steam Steam apps common and within Rome Total War then you go to next the next thing some of the units are naked and you can add on a, um, a loincloth I believe uh, to censor the genitalia of some of the units uh, I'm not too bothered about that so I'll leave that the way it is and then go to next and then it will make a little shortcut for the folder just click on uh, next and then it will just ask you if you want to install these other programs and I'll go yes and then install now it take a few moments just while it installs so what I'm going to do I'm just going to pause this for a few moments whilst it's installing in the background now that that first one's downloaded it would then ask us to download the the second program so again press OK next I accept now what will happen now is that the program will automatically put it in the correct area so you don't need to mess about of this little box just click on next next install and then finish and then it will do that again and then it will install this one and then there's just one more And again, it'll take a couple of moments just while it installs this last part. When we downloaded that 1.1, throughout that process, it asked us if you wanted to download these other three programs. The other three programs are all to do with Europa, Europa Barbarum. Uh, so I clicked yes for that. And that's what these other three little downloads are. But if you just say yes to them, uh, just make sure that it all runs nice and smoothly. So click on finish and then go to next and finish so 1.1 has all been installed the next thing we need to do is install 1.2 so we click on the 1.2 and then go to next I agree now what you need to do is to find out where your own total war is so like before just go to in my case my E drive programs steam Steam apps, common, and then select Rome Total War Gold. Don't double click, just click on once to highlight it. And then what you need to do is just to delete the last little part.
so that the file path is simply e uh, dot dot uh, backward slash programs steam steam apps common wrong total to all goals simple as that and click next and then it'll ask you that the folder already exists would you like to install yes and then next install what this is doing is that the 1.2 is being downloaded within that 1.1 patch and it's just updating it and it's file is much smaller so therefore the download is much quicker compared to the previous one and then you click finish and that's all good to go so the last thing you need to do is go to EB fixes and again click on next and then click on next delete that message and just again in my case I go to my computer the E drive all programs steam scroll down to steam apps common and then click on wrong total or gold just to highlight it and click OK and then go next and then start and again take a couple of moments and that's all installed and then exit so what we've done we've downloaded uh, 1.1 and installed it 1.2 and installed it 1.2 installed it and it's just basically these one two three downloads left so I'll pause it for two moments okay so the next one you need to download install is the EBMP load replay mod so again double click on it click on next click on next delete that message that's in there and just find your own total or folder so that's in steam steam apps common click on gold just to highlight it and then go to next and install next and exit so that's now been installed so we've got all of these done it's just these last two left over so again I'll pause it for two seconds okay so the next thing we need to do is to install custom locations so what you do is click on it copy and I bring up your your own total or steam folder so go to Rome total or gold click on EB then click on data and then paste that fo file in there ask me if I want to replace the uh, location of the existing one click yes and then that's done then you go back and then click pause for two seconds and before we install the last part what we need to do is to delete a couple of folders so again go back into the uh, the directory which is Roman total or gold EB now what you need to down delete is this thing called SP game EDU backup and MP game EDU backup so I selected those two and click on delete and then it's just going to be a case of installing the last part so we're nearly there now so we click on the last part which is this file here double click on that click on next click on next again select where you want it to be installed which again will be where my roam total war steam version is so i go to my computer e drive all programs steam steam apps common just select roam total or gold and click ok and then next and then start it will take a few moments just while this installs it's not a massive folder file so it won't take very long I want to have done all of that we're nearly there so we click on next and exit so now that we've done that we've actually installed the mod for Europa Barbarum for Rome Total Wall so let's take it to the next stage now 
Okay, then, so now that we've installed all of those, all we do is go into our Roam Tool Tool folder. Uh, you notice there's now several folders and several options in here. This is all the, the EB downloads. So to play EB, all you do is you click on this EB configuration. Double click on that. Now, you want to make sure the engine is Roam Tool Tool. Uh, the uh, lighting is unrecommended and I usually have mine on naked. Now, if you want to do single player, that's yourself against the computer or yourself doing the campaign, click on uh, single player. And if you want to do the online, go to EB online multiplayer. You want to make sure that you've got this tick box for show errors and this tick box for Steam install. Once you've done that, you click on save and exit and then go back in. So if I want to do online games, I make sure that's all on there. That's ticked, that's ticked, and then I go to play EB. If I want to do solo, I click on single player, go to save and exit, and then click play. And then if I want to change your mind and go back to on online player, go to that one, save and exit, and then go back in. And then what I then do is click on play. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to do the online version now. So you click on play EB. It sometimes runs a tiny bit slower than your standard Rome Vanilla. It's basically because of all the extra files which are running in the background. But uh, honestly, the game is absolutely amazing. It's definitely worthwhile the wait. It may only take up an extra 5 or 10 seconds. So to... Uh, Play the game online, it's very similar to the vanilla Rome. All you do is go to multiplayer, click on online battles. Now this is the really, really important part. Click on the tick button and then the cross button. If you don't do that, you can't get into the lobby. So once you're into the lobby, what you can do, you can join and you can host EB games and anybody else who's playing on that mod can join into your games. So. I've got somebody talking to me. One sec. So, what I do is go to host the game, call it EB, and then, unlike your standard Roam Tour to War vanilla, you only have a few maps. On this mod, you've got absolutely bucket loads of mods and different types of maps. You've got uh, everything from the, the pyramids, which I'll bring up in a second. You've got Temple of Zeus. Uh, there we've got the pyramids. Uh, Hanging Gardens of Babylon. It's absolutely awesome. Once you've got your game hosted, whoever else is playing that mod can then join your game like you normally do in Rome Total to Wall. And then you just start the game. Really simple as that. And then once you've gone on to the single player option, you'll see that there's loads more options that you've got. You can go to single player, you've got your custom battles against the, uh, the computer. Uh, you've got your historical battles, which again, you know, these are new battles which weren't on there before. So there's really loads and loads of details. And then you've got your, your campaign. So just like uh, Rome Total War 2, you've got more factions. You've got the uh, um, people like the Iverni. You've got people like the, um, uh, the well, the Egyptians, but they're called the Poly Polymeri. I've forgotten how you pronounce it now. Um, Basically, you can be a lot of factions that you can be in Rome Tour to War 2. That's Swerby. God, my pronunciation is absolutely terrible. You can be Rome, of course. You can be Macedonians. Um, yeah, so it's absolutely worthwhile. You can be the, the Seleucid Empire. Um, or you can just decide, you know what, I want to play the actual computer. So let's go and check out one of these uh, different maps. So let's go to the, the pyramids. Let's bring some random units. I 
and then click start. Now another great thing is on the loading pages you actually get to learn some things. So you've got these little coins, or little bits of messages, little bits of history and there's sometimes little bits of history about certain units telling you about what they wear and bits and pieces like that. So here we go. So instead of playing on the grassy flat plains, you can actually now play on the pyramids. So um, have a little mooch around, rewrite history. Instead of playing on the little village, you've now got the, the pyramids. And if you have a look at the units, the units are different. They're not just your standard units of different skin. These are, you know, it's like a practically a brand new game. And I just really, I can't uh, stress how much that uh, this game is absolutely amazing. Now, if you get fed up playing Rome Total War 1 and you think, you know what, I want to try Rome Total War 2, but you don't quite like Rome Total War 2, get this mod. It is basically a brand new game and you can play it online and there's no glitches, nice and simple. And hopefully from watching this little tutorial, you can actually give it a go. And you know what, if you get bored, you can just jump back onto Rome Total War 1 and it won't affect the actual game itself. Um, so, let's have a quick little glance at these other units. So as you can see, they're totally new, really cool. Give it a go guys, I uh, really strongly recommend it. You won't regret it, there's lots of fun to be had. Um, again, when you exit out, you've got more information, you've got Mithridates. Um, and then you go back on there. So really good. Uh, please check it out. Hopefully this little tutorial, this little guide has been beneficial for some of you guys. Let me know what you think. If you've got any queries or questions, put a little comment. I've tried to make it as easy as possible. I do appreciate that the actual time length for the video is probably quite long. But I'd just like to make sure I've covered all the aspects just to make it nice and simple. Okay. So this is Biscuit signing off. Wishing you all the best. And I'll catch you soon. Okay. Bye now.